but eventually well defended. This was a free kick taken. I think he should have let that go through his legs and see what happens. Sulaima Abdullahi. Good header there. And a Kufu. Yafri Pong. Musa Sela. And a Kufu's uh, ball blocked. A Kufu again. Kufu. you win that ball back well good skill there by Kennedy Asha oh but a pass left a lot of it his eye after working so hard go ahead and, and uh, Bad ball, if Morton can get there, but offside. Well, I'll tell you what, Liberty Professional are not phased at all by the fact that they're facing Kumasiya Sandy Kodokov. Very well organized in the back. They're using the midfield well. And then, when push comes to shove, their main outlet seems to be the pest. James Abbott. <laughs> <laughs> they might find out that that's a new uh, name we've given to him, the pest. Scored four times already this season. A couple of braces against Hearts and Dwarves, respectively. Nathaniel Asamoa trying to push that ball through. Yakubu Isa, Kwame Boyani, beaten to it. Eric Donko. And Alfred Nelson gets it. And Nathaniel Asamoa, he was going to hit it first time. Now for a ball. Kubuisa, Silla. Oh, good skill. Oh, great play. But again, the passing from Kwame Bohini has been short. I mean, it's the second time he's worked so hard, but his passing hasn't been good enough. Well, he showed good individual skill, good flair, lovely control, nice composure, no end product. But it's not over yet. Baba Abdul Rahman. Trying to be this man. Eventually clears that ball. Richard Eboa moved in field. Donko. Nelson has remained impregnable at the back for um, Liberty so far. Asha. Abad. Moved out wide. Tackle for the ball, but the uh, ball is recovered again. And now, play is spread out, and this is uh, Richard Entry. Decides to move forward. What's he going to do? Well, Richard, the ball is played it back to Morton. Ball goes out for a throw. Well, it's sixes and sevens at the moment for Kumasi Sandy Kodoko. Shaken but not stirred. I think one of the main problems they have is they don't go for second balls, Chris. They play the first ball, and if they don't win that, nobody moves for the second opportunity that's created for possession. And they've really got to address that in the second half if they really want to score a goal. Well, that cross not going anywhere, really. Uh, Akufu. Tackle there, so it's going to be a free kick to Kumasiya Sandy Kodoko. That was 
a tackle there by, by Silla. And Silla has been withdrawn. He's normally a Burley striker, but he's been withdrawn. Playing in a hole behind Abbott. I wonder what you make of that. Well, it's, it's for uh, additional support, isn't it? Well, I thought it would have been the other way around. He would have been on top of the attack when Abbott's supporting, but Abbott has been left on his own. Well, he looks like as if he's got much more pace. There's much more desire from him. Well, there he is, Silla, losing out. Yafri Paul. Korogo win that ball, and this is uh, Nathaniel Asamoa. But Alfred Nelson has been sticking to him like a leech, not yeah. giving him a, a breathing space at all. Well, that was just about 10 minutes to the end of the first half, and it's uh, no goals to talk about yet, but Nathaniel Asamoa. Fred Paul. Cleared by the Liberty defense. Alfred Nelson. Silla. Poor pass. Akufu wins that ball. That's a lovely ball down the right. Oh. Well, looks like it was an awkward bounce and your boy couldn't get to it. Well, I think he showed a lack of awareness of that, the size of the pitch, because really he should have just collected that down on the instep of his right foot should never have allowed the bounce should have gone to meet it and uh yeah from paul sportingly kicking the ball out to touch because there's a player on the turf looks like it's uh at least it's not in the, in the goalie i think it's in the belly rather <laughs> and that's that's Silla. and aban the pest talking to his coach taking a drink of water. Well, I think he's doing very well at the moment. Liberty professionals only have him as the main source, the main outlet. Meanwhile, Tomasia Sandikorokov got Kofi Ntibuachi and Nathaniel Asamoa as their main outlet. And uh, you have to say that Aban has had the better so far of the exchanges. He's had to work extremely hard. Or perhaps for example, let's wait to the second half, and maybe he might tell Silla to go push off front alongside Abad. Yeah, that's possible because he can see he can you can see at the moment that uh, Liberty Professional have had a lot of joy out of just having a van up there, and if you add someone else, it could cause a lot of problems for the back four of Kamase Sandy Kodakov. Well, the ball rolling out to touch for a goal kick to Kamase Sandy Kodakov. Samoa. Well, looks like he's taking a knock. And apologies for earlier, the ball did not actually cross the line. Mokoro will kick it back in. And uh, Nathaniel Samoa. Let's hope he's all right. Well, I'm surprised actually he got the free kick. Here we see from the replay, both heads go up. No problems with that. But it's this. Oh. Oh. I think he rather kicked against the shear. Precisely. And it went down. So that's why I was surprised that he got the free kick. taken there. That's Aban again. There's Morton. Aban. Oh! Well, that is a terrible challenge from Henry Oyunibrinya. Well, and I know he's going to bring a yellow. That's a terrible decision by the referee because that's a red card. And Oyunibrinya has been fortunate. Very, very fortunate. That tackle was a bad one. Have a look at this. He's just poked it on. There's no way he's going to play the ball. That's an early shower call. Reverse view. Wow. Sorry for me, you're off. Well, the referee has decided to be charitable this evening. That's a terrible call by the referee. Terrible call. 
Now, that's one of the calls that you don't need a replay to tell you that that's a red card. Well, free kick now taken. A well defender that time, and Eric Donko will provide an outlet. Anaba. Moving with a bit of pace. Thought he was going to spread the ball. Well, what's he trying to do? Well, he allows Liberty to recover. And the Alfred Paul. Looking for Yaboa. Cross coming in. Well defended. But Baba Abdurrahman will race for that ball. And this has a cross inside as a corner kick. I think the crosses from Kotoko have got to be whipped in. They're hanging way too long in the air. It allows the defence of Liberty and the midfield to get back and, and defend the cross. It's just too easy. They've got to whip those balls in. And so it's a corner kick. And Richard Yaboa will go across the take. It looks like an instrument is going to be taking with a right foot. We'll head it out. We're now in the final five minutes of what has been an absorbing contest. Kwame Bwaini. Silla. Bwaini. Daniel Jempi. Bwaini. Baba Rahman wins that ball. Does very well to play out of a tight situation. Eventually blocked for a throw in by Bwaini. Raman. And what was the goalkeeper doing? <laughs> well, he got away with it. He got away with murder. Dear me, it looks like uh, a player has been injured by Kotoko. Liberty winning that ball. Cleared inside. Rahman. And now attention will be given, I think, to Yafrin Paul. I think he went up with his captain for the same ball, and uh, Reyna's foot, I think, hit him in the midriff. In the midriff. And he's just a bit winded. He's okay. Strong young boy. And that's a cross section of the Liberty fans enjoying themselves. Fast treatment is given. Here we see the ball into the 18-yard box. And then have a look at this. Talk about Never Never Land. And if there had been an opposing player there, that would have been Curtis. Yeah, but this is the problem. This is what I say to you, Chris. Kodokot don't get the first ball. There's no one there for the second ball. There's no anticipation. There's no awareness that potentially the second ball prepares them gives them an opportunity, a second bite of the cherry. No one's there. And that's certainly something that we'll have to look at, really. For Pinti Boachi, having a talk with uh, Maso Konedu. Meanwhile, the Alfred Paul has been stretched off. Linting. And Kennedy Asha losing out to Anaba. Anaba again. Pupin to Bwachi. Free kick to Kodoko. Quickly taken. But Liberty winning the ball again. And it's Aban again. Well, handball. I don't know whether the referee spotted that, but no, I didn't. I, I think it was too close a call for handball. I think it was ball to hand. Have a look. Yeah. He couldn't do anything about that. 
And Ataban turning around. And Sulaima, a very unorthodox way of getting the ball out, but get the ball out he did. Well, he sensed the danger. Have a look at this ball. It's a nothing ball, really, when he spins around. He takes it on the half term. It's a hopeful ball because it's hanging way too long as well. But have a look at this. Sulaima just takes control of the situation and puts that ball out. We're now in time added on. Three minutes of time added on and good punch out this time by Sulaima. And that's three minutes of time added on. Confirmed now. Babaraman. Good crossing, Henry, oh, Henry Brinja gets that ball away. Or headed out there by Richard Yaboa. Richard Enchi. And it's Anaba, Yafrin Pong. be a goal kick Sulaima and that's a free kick to Kumasiya Sandakoroko And John Kofor to take that free kick. One of the last attacks of this half. Ball eventually cleared. It's going to be a throw. Nathaniel Asamoah. Well, where's that ball? Nathaniel Asamoah! It's a goal! Right at the death. To Matthew Santikonoko have converted. And it is Kofi Intibachi. Converted that chance. Brilliant work by Nathaniel Asamoah. Well, that was well worked and well deserved against the run of play. He would have thought that uh, hey! Liberty Professional would have cleared the line. Look at the choreography. But they didn't. Rather sloppy, taking it a bit too cool in the back, and they've been punished. And Nathaniel Asamoah deserves a lion's share of the credit with the way he worked his way. Look at this. Showed a lot of desire, a lot of strength, and then gets the return ball, and with the outside of the boot, just knocks it across the face of the goal, and it's 1 0. Well deserved. And Eric Dunker played his part as well. Laying up that ball and an immediate topo. And Kofitu Bachi scores against his former club. Limited professionals nail for Marcia Sandek on a goal one. And Liberty trying to come back, and that is the end of the first half. And what a way to strike such a psychological blow. For Marcia Sandek on a goal, scoring thanks to Kofitu Bachi. And Liberty professionals will have a lot to ponder on. But our protocol on their way to their first league victory outside the Babayara Sports Stadium this season. That is a question that will be answered over the next 45 minutes. But from the Accra Sports Stadium at half time, it is Liberty professionals nail, Comasia Sande Koroko 1. Love.
Season's greetings from all of us at Rice Masters. Shield, the premium paint, music to your eyes. submarine cable has arrived in Ghana. It will bring major technological advances to all aspects of our daily lives and see the birth of our new prosperity throughout West Africa. This is the one we've been waiting for. This is the one. This is the one. What a huge psychological blow they've struck just at the death in the first half. 1-0, and Liberty Professionals now have a lot of questions to answer as to how they're going to actually react to the second half. But of course, this is the Globe Premier League match day 14. Encounter between both sides brought to you by kind courtesy of Bryce Mother. This is your moments to remember. Supported by Azar Brink, number one. Glow, rule your world. Stone strong lager because you've earned it. More taste, more satisfaction. Samsung chat, 222. Enjoy the two in one sim experience, of course, and enjoying sensual conversation on a sensually encased phone. And I'm about to enjoy a sensual uh, commentary with my co commentator, Manakwe Kwaji Manenda. What a psychological blow for Kodoko to strike at half time. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's so appropriate to, to strike at that time. And I tell you what, it will boost Kofi into his uh, confidence, it will boost the confidence of those players who've been called in and been given their first start, because you don't change a win inside. And uh, so long as they can maintain good pressure and good possession and create some more chances and probably get a second goal, they will start for the next the next match against Mediama on Sunday. And you're talking about uh, those with uh, fresh stars. I think uh, Richard Yaboa and Eric Donko have not been bad at all. No, they haven't. They haven't. You can definitely tell they've missed Yaha y Yaya Mohamed. There's no two ways about that. And that's possibly one of the reasons why they've, they've gone over the top so much and uh, tried to use uh, Kofi Intibuachi and, and Nathaniel Asamoah as, as an outlet and just, just missed out their entire midfield. And, and one, of the, one of the points of note, Anaba is normally sometimes pushed further forward. He seems to be doing better in a deeper role this, this, uh, this, uh, in this particular match tonight. Well, I, I think that they still haven't sorted out what role Anaba should play. But yes, he's shown great adaptability uh, because the coach has said, I'd like you to play this particular role and he's playing it. And I think that's good when a player has the, the, the ability to adapt to a set of circumstances that are sometimes different to what he's normally used to. Second half has started and uh, Baba Abdurrahman turns that long ball in but stopped. Francis Morton, Yafrin Paul, going with that ball. Good play. And uh, Yafrin Paul did it. 
Aban trying to flick that ball in. And a bit of a collision there between John Kufour. Well, I think he kicked everything. He kicked the ball and got his man as well. Yeah, he did. So the decision has been given advantage Liberty Professionals. And Sulaima. And this is Intibwachi. Does very well to hold on to the ball. Waiting for the Calvary, and this is uh, Eric Donko. Sends that cross in to nobody, but it's an opportunity. And this is a chance for Richard Yabo! What a goal! What a goal! But of course, not brilliantly. And Richard Yabo, his first time for the club. And what a goal! Well, I was saying it, Chris. All they needed to do was strike the second goal and get it as early as possible and call a close on this game. And I think they've done it. I think they have done it. No, oh, but two very psychological tactics trying to strike that psychological goal just before half time and just at the break. They've, they've, they've probably killed the game. I, I think so. I think so, Chris. And what a strike by Richard Yeboah. Of course, I can't see him changing this side. It's a lovely ball that goes in the 18-yard box. It seems as if it's uh, there's no cause to it, but the clearance doesn't help Liberty Professional at all. Michael Anaba lays on the ball beautifully in front of Richard Yaboa, and he slams that ball home. What a great goal. Well, Kumasi has sent a clear message. They will not give up the league leadership just yet. If the result stays the same, they are back on top of the Premier League. That's a textbook strike if I ever seen one. There's no way the goalkeeper can get there. No way whatsoever. And Liberty Professionals now have to fight back. Cross comes in. Now I remember a game a few years back. West Cotto were 2-0 up at half time. Liberty came back and were leading 3-2. West Cotto was the same to go the to make it 3-0. And that was the season our sport went on to win the title. And many feel that was the game that broke the title result. But can Liberty come back? That's the question. I don't think they can, Chris, to be honest with you. I think it's, it's, it's such a big psychological blow. It's huge. Well, crossed inside and uh, eventually blocked again. And Intibwachi chasing after that. As you said, the goal he scored would have done his confidence a world of good. And Anaba played a part of the second goal. As I said, he's revelling in a deeper role. Kwame Buahini. That pass dragging James Saban wide.